Hey guys, uh, back with another quick tip, and today I want to focus on a great free plugin that you can find at Plugin Boutique. Um, so if you visit PluginBoutique.com, you'll see we've got this great free section in the area here. I'll click on that, and once that loads, you'll see that the free plugins are all broken down nicely into various different categories. I'm going to scroll down to Reverb because we're focusing on a Reverb here today. And once you get there, you can open up the full section and see what's there. I'm going to focus on Ambience by Smart Electronics. So we'll click on that here, and you'll see that Ambience loads up, and you'll get a sense of the uh, graphic user interface. It's a really nice-looking and great-sounding free reverb plugin. Um, I should mention that the graphic interface looks really nice on PC. On the Mac version, which I'm using, unfortunately it doesn't look nearly as nice, but the sound and all of the features are still there. And what we're going to do is we're going to focus on this hold feature. So if I come over to my live session here, you'll see that I've got ambience loaded up, and once again, it doesn't look as nice because I'm on the Mac version, but you'll see the hold feature is still there. So what I'm going to do is play back a loop for you. Uh, this is a loop I've taken from one of the Loop Masters packs. I think it's classic 90s house. And you can already hear that Ambience uh, is giving that a really, really nice reverb. Um, but again, we're going to focus on this hold feature. Essentially, this is a sample and hold feature, which means that when you click it, whatever section of the loop happens to be playing at that time will play perpetually. And it's a great way to take a loop and create a sort of more simple kind of bed to your track that you can use, which will give it some nice ambience. So I'll play back the loop again, and as it's playing, I'll click on the hold, and you'll hear what I'm talking about. You'll note that even if I stop the loop now, it continues to play that section because I'm holding it in hand. Now with something like this, you might want to modulate it um, to give it a little bit more sort of movement and atmosphere. So I'll turn on an auto filter with a little bit of LFO, for example. And then you could play with that frequency, the cutoff here. And there you have it. Just by clicking on the hold feature in Ambience, uh, we've taken a loop and created a nice bed that we can modulate and add some atmosphere to our track with. It's a little bit more simple, but still has that nice lush sound of the original sample. I'll turn off hold and it'll stop playing. And there you go. I hope you have fun with Ambience. Enjoy.